Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be the second video on how I created Sleeping Beauty inspired decorations for my daughter's fourth birthday party. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I make a cute ribbon topiary using different shades of pink ribbon. Um, I also use different patterns, different textures such as lace, and I also added just a touch of gold. I'm not gonna lie, this project did take um, a lot more time. It was a little bit more involved. Hey, but you know what? You can take this time to recruit some girlfriends and sit down, work on this project together, and chat and catch up because you know that when you're a busy mom, time with your girlfriends are few and far between and you just need to take any opportunity you can. Or you can work on this project at the end of the day when your kids are asleep and you have some time. There's just something incredibly therapeutic about creating something with your hands and just being so immersed in that project that you naturally unwind and you forget about the fact that your daughter spilled a whole cup of milk on the rug. Or you burn the casserole because you were cleaning your child's artwork off the wall. Or that your daughter decided to give her younger sister a haircut. Regardless, I hope you enjoy making this cool project. So without further delay, let's get to work. Alright guys, get out your ribbon because you'll need a ton of it. You'll also need a styrofoam sphere, a bunch of flat head pins, a box or container, a wooden dowel, scissors, a glue gun, and some type of foam. Now let's get to cutting. I cut my ribbon about 4 inches long, but this is just a suggestion. You can do whatever you please. I started out with about 25 pieces of each ribbon, then cut more as I went along. Cut your foam to size and place it right into your box. Cut your dowel to the desired length and make a mark at approximately 2.5 inches. Now take your dowel and push it right into the styrofoam sphere until you hit your mark. Just like that. Take your paint and start painting your dowel with whatever color you've chosen. Now don't worry too much about the edges because those will get covered up. Now just push your dowel, dowel right into the foam. The sphere will get a little top heavy as you start adding the ribbon, so just use some rocks or another heavy object to weigh it down and keep it from moving around. Now it's pinning time. Roll up your ribbon and push your pins through so that they secure the ends. I typically use two pins for the thick ribbons and one for the small ribbons. Now just start pinning to the styrofoam. Here is an example of how I use one pin for a smaller ribbon. Typically I like to start with the large ribbons because they take up more space. Then I use the smaller ribbons as fillers. I would suggest evenly distributing the different types of ribbons so that you don't have clusters of the same ribbon. This may take a while, so turn up your favorite jam or put on your all-time favorite movie. I printed out some images and mounted them onto some cardstock using regular glue. I opted to put a thin layer of Mod Podge for protection since I knew I was putting this on the food table where there's potential for splashing and staining. Now just use a tiny bit of hot glue to secure some sticks onto your images. I believe these are just some kebab sticks from my kitchen. I chose some coordinating tissue paper and shredded it to fill the boxes. Now make sure to get a good amount in there and cover up the foam and the rocks that you put in there earlier. Now for your finishing touch, take your image and stick it into the foam wherever you so desire. Congratulations, you've just completed your own ribbon topiary. Alright! 